session to order. Uh, roll call. Uh, District 1. Present. District 2. Present. District 3. Present. And District 4. Present. Former Ms. Present. I uh, will have our invocation by Mr. Porter. Ms. Wedge. We have the agenda. We have seven items on the agenda. Any changes before we proceed? I have a motion to approve the agenda as provided. So moved. Motion and a second. Okay. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Uh -huh. opposed say no. We had anyone sign up to speak to them? Uh -huh. Okay. Move right on to our uh, discussion item. The first item is regarding the uh, calculation budget. I think it's the transportation budget. We do
be in place, but otherwise, if it's a small uh, project, uh, we can always go with the local. Uh, any questions or comments on those things? <clears throat> in regard to the surplus item, we'll place that on the next meeting's agenda, and then whenever requested, we'll continue with the uh, two or three. Whenever we make the request, we'll place that on the agenda. Next item is surplus equipment for the commission office. Uh, you have one copy here for the revenue commission, which is next. The commission office, we have about six computers and monitors that we'd like to declare surplus. We'll be getting a list of the model numbers of those so that we can set that in uh, to be sold on gun deals. And then for our revenue commission, as noted here, uh, this package or this two pages of information um, is, in, is are items that the Revenue Commission would like to declare surplus and have sold on GOV deals. Uh, any questions or comments on those items? The monies from these will go back to the general fund. Okay. If there's no objection, then we'll place both of those items and we will have a list uh, with model numbers on those computers at the next meeting. Okay. Next item is the Amoresco. We had discussed, uh, met with them several times before we approved moving forward with that group. You have with you the audit agreement, which would uh, allow us to move forward with this process. Uh, the agreement, as you note, in the second section here on the first page, would cost uh, nearly $11,000. If we do move forward after this audit agreement, then that would be included in the scope of work. If not, this would be a separate cost. So by approving this, we are committing ourselves to a cost. We plan to move forward with it, and this is what we need to do. Any questions or comments on this? If we choose not to go through with it and have to pay this ten thousand eight hundred dollars, they will turn over their findings in this audit, correct? Uh, I'd have to look through to be sure on that. This is the first time you've seen this, right? This is the first time I've seen it. I've seen <coughs> other agreements like this, and, and the other agreements that I've seen do so provide. I, whether this one does or not, I can't tell you for sure. I've seen them both ways, where they do not turn over their information and show up to So that may be something we want to look at. See if we can get that included. Um, Detailing the terms and conditions related to the implementation of the project proposal. It doesn't say specifically the audit item. If you would look through that, any other things we can address next week? Uh, and I'll, if, if that's not in there, then I'll check with them and see if we can get there. Any other questions or comments? Is there any objection to including that language if it's not already? Uh, we can, if there's no objection, we'll place this on the agenda tentatively for next week. If we see some other changes, then we can push the uh, table that at that point. But we'll go ahead and place it on the agenda for next week as well. Um, if you would take a look at that, if you have any other questions, let me know so I can get back with them before that. <coughs> and, uh, final item is review of the bids. Um, you have, should be the last items in your package, uh, bids for pest control, cleaning products, and kitchen supplies. These bids were open today. Uh, the uniform bids for the Sheriff's Department uh, will be rebid. There was an issue with them. Um, so those actually will be rebid as we uh, change the specs on that. Uh, next week we'll need to approve these bids as recommended. You'll see the lowest bidder on each of these. So are there any questions at this time on these items? <coughs> okay. If there's no objection, then we'll place that on the meeting agenda as well. Okay, concludes the items on our agenda. We'll move on to our reports. Mr. Miller? Uh, just a
on that one, Frank, I guess, uh, that's of uh, last Thursday we received regarding the solid waste management plan and we received checks from every municipality in the uh, Scottsboro option out for the sake of Scottsboro. So we have a 100% participation in that plan with all the municipalities. So we've got all those at the office and we'll be getting up to the uh, courthouse. I do have one thing. I sent the chairman a uh, sort of last minute item that um, there is a piece of property that was deeded to the county in 1966 um, when this particular piece of property was actually in the county and is now in the city limits of Scottsboro. Uh, and the chairman has the details that he can share with everybody that uh, was approached by. Another lawyer in town, Mr. Looney, who represents the owner of the property, there was apparently a strip of land 50 feet wide deeded to the county, and it runs, if you're familiar with South Broad Street 279 down there where the Jacks is. Uh, there is a strip there, a dirt road that runs between the Jacks over to Bob Jones Road where the old Moose Lodge used to be. And that's just an old road there, but it is deeded actually to the county. And it's not a county road. I checked with the engineer. Uh, it has never been a county road. The county has never put a road there. It's just, it is right, for some reason, it is unexplained, and the principles of that transaction are now all deceased, and we're now dealing with their estates. Uh, so for some reason, that strip of land being 50 feet wide was deeded from these folks, the adjoining landowners to the county. They're trying to sell the property, and they want it back. So. What I have done for your consideration is drafted a resolution that would authorize the chairman to sign a quick claim deed, transferring title back to the adjoining landowners, and then they can do what they want to do. Need to take a look at that next week. Yeah, you can take a look at it next week. I, but I wanted to explain it to everybody. I got a copy of the map here. Uh, if anybody wants to look at it, um, that's the Jacks, and that's the old Moose Lodge, and that's where the road runs. 279 and Bob Jones, but I mean, it's, it's of no benefit to the county. We've never used it. It's just four wheelers use it from time to time. Uh, when it gets muddy, some four wheel drive like to drive down, but other than that, it's got no use. So I want to bring that to the uh, uh, commission's attention so that they can look at it. We can look at it. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed say no.